Hey YouTube, how's it going? There's been an update on cyanjamod.com for the new Android phone. So right now what they did is they made a Cyanjin mod um, update for gingerbread and it'll fix a bunch of bugs. I've had a, several bugs with my wildfire and for instance I've had lock screen issues where I couldn't unlock the phone after using it. Uh, for a while or while I'm listening to music so I couldn't change my songs I had several crashing issues I've had my phone turn off and so uh, apparently they fixed all those problems and it should be a much better much faster and a little more of a stable release so you guys shouldn't be seeing problems with your androids after installing that update if you guys do have a gingerbread stable mod on your Android devices and haven't updated it yet to the latest CyanEngine mod update, I definitely recommend doing it because your phone will be running much better and it is definitely much better for your phone if it's not crashing all the time. So this is what it looks like as soon as you download CyanEngine mod update. I, um, this is, I haven't used this yet. This is the first time I'm using this, and I'm going to look at it with you guys. So let's start off with um, scrolling. Seems to run fine. You get a couple widgets. You get your a widget here that helps you um, understand CyanogenMod before you start using it. Let's go to the menu. Everything scrolls fine. These are the apps you get with it. I've installed a couple applications with the setup because you have to set your phone up before you can start using it. So get a couple Google applications on here. Now the mod applications you get are Super User. This um, allows you to use applications that are for rooted users. You get ROM Manager. You get Theme Chooser, which is a Cyanogen mod option. Next, you get DSP Manager. That is a application you can use to edit your audio effects that you would like. This is all what they come with. Yeah, so let's look at my version on the settings. Let's go to about phone and it says I am running Android version 2.3.3 .3, the latest and CyanogenMod-7.0.2 buzz so that is the version I'm running on here right now um, I haven't had any flaws yet as you can see right now I don't have the problem I had before with locking the screen but I have been using it for a long time of course um, Let's look at your music player. Still the same. Everything the same. Just um, less bugs on there right now. And I haven't had problems yet. It's supposed to run quicker. It's got some kind of booster on that they put on there. I'm not sure what it's called. Don't know what they did. But course it runs a little bit better they say and the effects are more stable so yeah so like effects like that with the home button home coming in towards you coming down the lock I can definitely make this phone much faster with set CPU I haven't put that on there yet I'm definitely gonna put that on there so that I can boost my phone with an extra 250 megahertz. Yeah, so here's your preview of the latest Cyanogen mod. You also get some uh, wallpapers with this mod. Here are some of the wallpapers that you get. Just scroll through them. That one's actually pretty cool. This one right here. <laughs> That's new. I haven't seen that. 
So yeah, it looks like they have a couple new wallpapers on there in stock. <laughs> That's a pretty funny one. Yeah, so new wallpapers. Found something new there. Great. So yeah, if you're interested in Sign Ninja Mod, definitely download this update. It'll definitely is a more stable version and so check it out. See you guys next time.